The three experiments that we conducted are first one turmeric. Take some turmeric and an acid and a base. Mix the turmeric with water thoroughly. Spread some turmeric on a paper and add the acid and basic solutions. We will observe that the turmeric solution turns into red color when a basic solution is added to it and remains the same when acidic solution is added. Second one, beetroot. Take a beetroot, some vinegar and baking soda in three separate bowls. Then boil the beetroot along with water until the water turns into the color of the beetroot. Strain the solution and slowly add the beetroot solution to the bowls which contain vinegar and baking soda. We will find that the acidic solution turns to pink and the basic solution turns to rose. Hence it's clear that beetroot is a natural indicator that can be used to test the acidic and basic solution. Third one, onion. Take some lemon juice, detergent powder and onion juice in separate bowls. Then pour onion juice to both the other beakers. We will find that the mixture of lemon juice and onion juice turns from white to yellowish green and the mixture of lemon juice and onion juice turns to pink. This activity shows that detergent powder is a base and lemon juice is an acid. Analysis From these activities, it is clear that the natural and artificial dyes that are widely used today are in fact the result of the various activities conducted in chemistry using natural indicators. The experiment that we conducted using turmeric, onion and beetroot shows us a way that led to the solution of dyes. Holly, the festival of colors, can actually be called as a festival of dyes which is a term widely related to chemistry. Himachal Pradesh is the main capital for hand weaving in India. Hand weaving uses different colors and dyes as raw materials. People all over India celebrate Holi as a festival of joy and happiness. Dye chemistry, a branch of chemistry, deals with that study and the extraction of various kinds of dyes. We can indeed say that colors without chemistry is merely possible. In other words, without chemistry, there is no colors and dyes. Without chemistry, there is no festival of colors. This proves that the world would not have been so colorful without chemistry. We often do not investigate the role of chemistry in making dyes. From these activities, we can understand the importance of chemistry in the making of dyes and colors. Thank you.